Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, what we got is we had a company called All Powers send us out a small solar generator for us to give a try here, here at our place here. What it is, it's called the S300. It's a, it's a small one, it's 300 watts. It, it'll surge up to 500 watts. So this thing will power quite a bit of stuff. I mean, there's lots of stuff that'll run under 300 watts, you know? So the fans, computers, uh, laptops, lights, but it, you know, it will not run a large load. Of course it won't, you know, like air conditioner or nothing like that. So, I mean, that's not what this is intended for. This is intended for like emergency lighting, emergency phone charging, just anything along those lines. It does have the lithium ion battery in it. 288 watt hours, the battery that's in it. It weighs approximately 3.4 kilograms. It's got three USB ports and one C port here on the side. It also has a funny looking DC output right here. I'm not quite sure what that's for. Uh, maybe somebody leave a comment down below and tell me what that right there is for, because I really don't know. As far as on the front, you got two lights. And it is daylight, so you won't be able to see it. It's got two, like one on each side. Okay, and it's got a DC. You turn the DC on right there. Mash that button for DC. Mash again, turn it off. And this right here is the AC. Mash that and hold it. All right, that big, now these two AC outlets up here are on. You hear a little fan kick on. It's got a little fan built into it to keep it from overheating. And then to turn it off, you just mash and hold it again. Okay, now the AC's back off. Okay, and on this side, you got your solar panel input, and you also have your 12 volt like car cigarette lighter adapter right here that you can plug stuff into. If you have anything still old school, it runs off stuff like that. Of course, I mean, there's still a lot of stuff that run off of that. Okay, and right here is your input side. And we'll get to that in a minute because that's a whole, it's a whole different animal right there. But this thing right here is is light. It's not real heavy. This handle's got like a rubber thing here that keeps it popped down there it's, it's hard to get back up so you got to pop it back up which is good for it sitting around and won't just flop around and all that crap and it also has wireless charging on the top too right here you just take it and set your phone on top of it and just like that it's charging your phone if your phone you know wireless capable hers is mine is not tell you the battery percentage and like if you plug something in it'll tell you how long it will run that for okay all right, it comes with an AC a wall charger. This thing here, you plug this into the wall and into the into the unit, and it charges it off AC if you're at home or whatever. And it comes that comes in a little bag, a little sack here to put that in. It comes with a uh, owner's manual. Here's the box it's shipped in. Okay, and here's what I like most about it is this right here, because this right here can be universal. You can use this thing for basically sky's the limit with this thing anything solar related this is the solar panel they actually send you with this thing check this out that's probably one of the coolest solar panels i believe i've ever had is that not cool but anyway you can leave this plop back like that and you can hang it with these little loops they send you little hooks too. Yeah, you get little hooks. You can hang it up on your fence, on your roof, your ceiling, lay it down on the ground, whatever you want to on do. On the table. Yeah, on the table like this. It's cloudy today, but we're still going to show you. Here's the cord for it. It's got like a little control, like a little control box mounted inside of it right here. A little, I don't know what you would call it, just the brain for this thing. They're all wired together and goes up into this thing. Okay, now in order to use it for the, for the box, you just plug the cord into that little thing. And you run over here and you plug it right here into that. And now that's charging. Probably not much because it is cloudy, but it is charging at 10 watts right now. Here's the little hooks they give you. Yeah, carabiners. Pretty cool. You can hang it up. But the another thing about this right here, right here's another clip. But this little control panel that's in here, little control box that's in here, you can direct plug, USB plugs into it 
or a C plug that goes into like say a USB. So like you can charge GoPros, you can charge cell phones, anything like that. So you can directly off the solar panels. So, which is, that's pretty cool. Or anything that uses USB to charge with, you can use it right, right directly off the solar panel. My watch. Yeah, just anything like that. So this right here is what I really like. I mean, the box comes in handy too, don't get me wrong, but this right here is probably the coolest little solar panel I believe I've ever had. It, this right here we'll keep in a car, you know, emergencies and stuff. <clears throat> It'd be perfect for like a, say a bug out bag or something like that. Cause it's not that heavy, you fold it up. Like that, I'm going to unplug that. Put that back in here, hold that. Roll this back up. Just poke it right back in here. Okay. Velcro that down. Then you just fold it right back up. Like that, back and forth. Just like that. It's got Velcro on it right there, pulled over. Velcro, there you go. A little handle, pretty cool. I got it dirty now out here working with it. It, it won't run a big skill saw, you know, 15 inch skill saw, it won't do that. But like little cutters and stuff like that, anything small, battery charging, stuff like that, it will run. Something else this thing is good for too, is like an emergency, you know, household appliances. You know, this is a blender, a small blender, of course. Kind of this thing. You know, if a grid down situation, you won't have the luxuries of everything else. So if you have this, you can at least, you know, mix your food, cook your food. And also, a lot of people don't have like manual can openers anymore. That's a thing of the past. A lot of people don't even know how to use one anymore, to just be honest with you. A lot of people have everything electrical in their homes now. So with that being said, you know, can openers. If you're one of those people that don't have a mechanical can opener where you turn it with your hand, we have, we have several of them, but we also have these too, you know. It runs just fine. Stuff like this, household appliances, stuff like this. I mean, all this will be beneficial, you know, when the time comes. I mean, this thing really comes in handy for just simple tasks, everyday tasks in your home. A mini fridge, one of the small ones, it'll run one of those. Lights, it'll charge you your uh, laptop, it'll run a laptop, it'll, re it'll run a regular computer. Just different things like that. But like I said, it will not run like large load because it's just 300 watts. It will surge up to 500 watts. So in an emergency, in a pinch, these things right here will be, I mean, priceless. The future that we're all facing today, if stuff like this will come in very, very handy. It really will. Even if you just buy it and put it back because something is definitely better than nothing. And this thing will, it'll run a fan of a night and keep you cool when it's blistering hot. You know, something's better than nothing. Realistically, this thing can't run an air conditioner. It can't run no big loads or nothing like that. But when it comes to, you know, like real hot in the summertime and stuff like that, it will run a fan. You know, like a box fan. All right, we do have one. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing. Okay, it is 100% charged. I know you can't see that on the screen, but it's 100% charged. All right, so what I'm gonna do, all right, if you'll hand me that fan. It's a box fan, we found an old box fan. Right here, we'll show it. All right, here it is. Okay, let me sit over here all the way so we can still see. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this thing up. All right, and on this, what you do is you hold the AC button. You smash the AC button, hold it until it comes on. All right, now, as you can see, the AC is on right there. It's lit up green. That's the same way you do the DC. You got to turn the DC on too, which is, you know, basically like the USB ports and stuff like that. So, I'm going to set this thing down right here. And I'm going to turn this fan on. It's on medium. Okay, it is pulling 57 watts. Okay, there's high. 63 watts. Put it back on medium. 
54 watts. And on low, it's pulling 47 watts. Okay? At 47 watts, we'll leave it right there. All right, yeah, 47 watts. Okay? I don't know. That shows up pretty good on there. It's pulling 47 watts and it's on low. Okay. Medium and it's pulling 56 watts right there. All right. What we're going to do is I'm going to let this set right here. And I'm going to let this fan run because, like I said, it, it will not run air conditioner. I mean, realistically, everybody knows that 300 watts is not going to run air conditioner. So, what we're going to do is we're going to run this fan. And we're going to see how long it'll run until it kills this thing. You know, we'll, we'll run it till this dies and we'll see exactly how long it took. All right? All right, guys, we're going to let it, we're going to let it go. And uh, we'll check in here just a little bit and see. But right now it says it'll run for three hours and 17 minutes at this load. Which, that, that's pretty good, I mean. But anyway, we'll see how long it takes. Let me show the camera right quick. Does it say, does it show how, well, the cord's all in the back of the way. Does it show the camera? Right there, how long it says it'll run? Can you see the output on it? Okay, right there. Yeah. All right, that's how long it says it'll run. Three hours, 17 minutes, and it's 55 watts. All right. I'm going to let her sit right here. I'm going to leave it plugged up. Let's see what it does. We'll be back. All right, guys, here it is. This thing ran for almost four hours with this fan on medium. So that's about how long it'll run a fan. It ran, it just like just a few minutes of being four hours before it shut completely off. As you can see right now, it's zero percent right there. So, yeah, see the AC one and come back on right now. See, because it's so dead. So, see, it won't even. But anyway, from 100% to 0%, and it took it about four hours. Just say roughly four hours to run this fan on medium. No. But power outages, stuff like that, this thing will come in, you know, very handy, very handy. Uh, your internet, you can, emergency radios, anything that, that run off AC power, plug them right in here. All right, guys, another thing that we find very useful for this little thing right here is emergency you know, like emergency communications, say like you have a, a base CB, uh, like home base CB, or if you have like one of the ham radios, you know, with the big skyscraping antennas outside, stuff like that. And you know, the grid down, God forbid something drastic was happening in the country, uh, you'd need a way to power that and stay in communication with people. Right now we don't have neither, but we'll, we do have all these little handheld radios. And these will come in like very, 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 beneficial for us you know like if something like that was to happen so we could stay in contact with each other on the mountain you know when we're out doing our thing on the mountain here working or whatever we still need to be able to communicate with each other cell phones don't work okay that's the reason we have these right here put up in our our supplies we have 10 of these and while i can leave a link to these if anybody wants to check them out or hit me up and these are very good radios for the price you get 10 of these things for 100 bucks and you can't buy a toy radio for that and these things put out we got a video on them so i'll leave a link to that but anyway what i'm getting at is you take turn the AC on plug it up and charge your radios you know right there it's charging and that'll be that'll be awesome if the time ever comes to where you need something like this you know so emergency communications anything like that this thing right here has got you covered you know just charge it with your solar panels and then charge or plug up your CB base stations. Well, it will it will run one of those because they're not that much power. And the ham radios, they're not that much power. They're not that many watts. So this thing will power stuff like that for emergency situations. I just want to throw that out there. And that that's something else, something this size, this small will come in handy for. It's small, tuck it out of the way, and you can still power your emergency devices. All right. I mean, like I said, it's definitely better than nothing. And it also has the emergency lights on it. Right there. They are bright of a night too, so. Oh, and this thing also has, you can also use a app on your phone 
And what we're going to do with it for a while until we get everything situated up here in our greenhouse is I'm going to put it up here. And off our app, I can turn these lights off and on. I can turn the AC off and on, the DC off and on, off the app on your phone. So like for it, if the house and it's dark, I can use my app. I can turn the lights on so we can get up here. But, I mean, we do have other lights. We have, you know, motion detecting lights and all that stuff up here, too. Everything's solar. So, but just in case, we can use it up here for that, which will come in handy. It really will. Another thing we like to do with this thing, too, since we keep it up here most of the time, is we will take and the baby loves this little tractor. And what we do is when it, whenever we can get him off of it and keep him off of it for a little while, we'll kind of sneak around and we'll charge it up here with this thing because we don't have, you know, like regular power like everybody else. Let's hook it up like that and start charging the little tractor. Let it sit for a couple hours. It'll charge this thing all day long. It doesn't take much power at all to charge this. It'll probably charge this thing probably... You know, five, six times before this is ever needed to charge again. But if it did, we just break out the solar panel, hook this up, and let it charge this while that's charging too. So it's a win-win on all that. So, and she has a a, a smart watch that she wires. It's on the system to the magnet. It charges. Yep. Just plug it right into one of the USB. There it is charging. It's charging. It's like that, everything's pretty simple. Oh, I also have a, a a Mavic Mini drone, not sponsored, but you can sponsor us if you want to. That we do use sometimes up here, you know, fly it around, stuff like that, just play around with. And we charge it directly off this, the power pack right here. Right here's the power pack for it. Plugs directly into there. Just, I mean, basically anything that you need to charge, you, you can charge right off of this thing. You can charge it directly off the solar panel if you want. That's what I like about the solar panel. If it's got a USB type plug that you plug in for charging, you can plug it directly into the solar panel and charge it. All right guys, that is the S300 made by All Powers. We will leave links in the description if you want to check them out. You'll be surprised at the what you can and can't use it for. The solar panel that comes with it, this thing right here is in the, just in a whole league of its own. It's, it's, it's really cool. You can hang this thing up and you know, keep it in your car or whatever, and if you're out, something was to happen, basically a bug out type item, like that. You pull it out, flop it out, open it up, charge your phone emergency, charge lights. I have a lot of flashlights that are charged by USBs and stuff like that, which a lot of stuff that's coming out now is charged by USB type devices, like your cell phones, anything like that. Right there, you can plug it directly into the solar panel. Will come in handy in a pinch, you know, like, emergencies, power down, grid down, anything like that right there, and you need a small amount of power, this thing's gonna be perfect for you. It'd make a great birthday gift, anniversary yep. gift, um, Christmas gift, make a kid a bug out bag, husband, wife, whoever, a bug out bag. It'd be a great gift. It'd be good for, great for camping. Hiking. Hiking, hunting, fishing. fishing anything. Boating. Yeah. Or just anything all around. Like walking around the property with it if you have to. I mean, mm -hmm. if you need power somewhere on the back side of the property or something like that. Very right light. Yeah. yeah, it's not it's not heavy, but it's not right. it's not like extremely light, but it's not real heavy neither. It's right. yeah. ever how many three point four kilograms is. Ever how many that is in pounds. I'd have to Google that. Yeah, we do recommend this thing guys, if you get a chance to go check it out. Uh, you'll be glad you got it. You know, it, I always they, they do have larger ones too. The, the larger ones are better, don't get me wrong, but this one right here is, will have its purpose in, in your stash. It really will. So anyway, guys, if you ain't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you to All Powers for sending this out to us. We appreciate it, and we're definitely going to use it. Yes, thank we you. are. Have a blessed day. Thank you. A like and subscribe. There you go. Good job.